And Ariel is actually one of the few companies that I know that provides the cut files for these. But I want to be able to just stamp onto this and then have the machine find it and cut it out for me. So we'll see how this goes. So the next step is to put it on the PicScan mat and take a picture. So I will put that aside. Get my mat and stick it down. All right, so file, open PicScan image, import from file, import from the desktop, Avriel V-Day, open. So it picked it up perfectly this time, and now we can go to object and trace. Select our trace area, which we want to do the whole thing. Might as well have it cut it all out at once. And I want, I'm just going to leave it on the default here and click trace outer edge. And we'll release the path. And just delete all this weird stuff. I'm going to highlight this one and then say to offset it, click offset and that's just a little too big for me so I'm going to do point zero six two five. Apply. I like that a little bit better. I definitely like 0.0625. I'm going to see if I can do all of them at once because that would be really nice. Offsets. Mm -hmm, maybe. Oh, yes. Definitely. 0 0.0625. Apply. Awesome. So now I just have to delete all of this noise in here. And then I'm going to feed it through the machine. So I'm going to move my machine out because I don't want this getting stuck anywhere. And it has to go have enough room to go all the way back and all the way forward. So I think if I have it here, I should be fine. I'm going to open this up and load in my mat. Push load. Okay. And just like last time, I'm just going to go right back over to the silhouette. Except for, I forgot I wanted to change my blade. And then I'll click send to silhouette. And then I will do... Says it's registering it. Let's move it all the way back. I'm not particularly happy about is that it seems to definitely be off center. There's a few images on here that are perfect in my opinion. So I'll show you those. It's just really weird how some of them are perfect. Well, actually, nope, it's not. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so let me pull this off and I'll show you what I'm talking about.
you'll probably see it right away actually what you can see is this whale is pretty much perfect he or she has the the outline is like perfect around it it did cut through really well I probably actually had the setting too high um, but that's fine it cut it out perfect that's a moray looks great I love how that came out the fairy could have been a little better because it's most of the offset is actually off to the right side so it's a little weird our little lovers over here in the boat are almost perfect there's some parts that I would have liked done better it got extremely close right here and a little bit on her hair and on his hat but most for the most part and this little stick row thing um, that's definitely off as well our word crazy looks like it cut that out pretty well um, I should have made it to where it didn't even try to cut this tiny little area inside of this Y, but I didn't pay attention to that. So now I have like this little baby hole in here, which is okay. Not what I really prefer. So again, on that one, most of the offset is on the top and there's not a whole lot on the bottom. My gummy bear is definitely way off. It's mostly to the right. Same thing with the Viking. Most of my offset is to the right. The pig came out pretty much perfect. And then both of my cherries, the offset is more to the right. So you can see on this one, as well as this one. Oops, got a little bent there. So it definitely recognized it and it traced it pretty well, but the offset is a little bit off. So I might have to try it using just the trace and not adding an offset to it and see how well that does. Um, but for now, I'm just going to have fun with my little pieces here. And I'm definitely not really complaining because if I cut these out, it wouldn't be nearly as nice as that. And I have a whole stack that I can color and use now. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, however, it is really odd that it even happened on these pieces as well. The offset is off to one direction. So I'll have to try playing around with it a little bit more and maybe just using the trace feature and not using the offset to see exactly how well it works. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. I have no idea how it would compare to, per se, the Brother Scan and Cut, which was the other machine that I was considering. But really, the, the big reason that I wanted to go with a Cameo was because the Silhouette Studio software just looks so intuitive and easy to use. So that was a major selling point for me. I'll put a link below to the place that I purchased my machine from. I got it in a nice little bundle that included the PicScan mat. And I thank you very much for watching this video today and my first time using the PicScan mat and how my experience was. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.